In this video, I'm going to show you how to write custom SQL in Tableau. Let's go. Hello, here we are again for another Tableau video. I'm super happy because I just got my morning routine cookies and cream from Starbucks. This is not a um, commercial for Starbucks, by the way. I just really like Starbucks. And there's like a drive through right down the street from me. So I've just been having it all the time while we've been in lockdown. And it has been sweet. All right. So here we go. I have a data set here. And this is, you probably uh, recognize this. This is the Superstore data set. And there's a lot of fields in here. But we're really only going to use two for this example. Uh, and let me just make this kind of a bit more legible. So we can kind of see what's going on. And the ones we're really interested in are category and quantity. Okay, And the only reason I've chosen that is just because it's really simple. So what we need to do to do this test for the custom SQL is I'm going to take this data, put it into an, a Microsoft Access database. Um, but it basically works the same for any SQL-based uh, system that you're going to be connecting to with Tableau. So if I take this data, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a simple pivot. So I'm going to take the whole thing. And if you don't know pivot tables, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two fields that I've added. And you know what? Maybe I'll put it next to each other just to make it easier so I'm not constantly scrolling. Let's go here. And what I want to do is I want to add up all the quantities but group them by uh, the category. So that's easily easy enough. So let's go insert. I'm going to do a pivot table, and I'm going to add that in. So let me just move my face over here for a second. So we're going to bring in category, and we're going to bring in quantity. Okay. Now let's say in Tableau, I want to connect to this result. I don't want to connect to the master set. And why would that be useful? Well, a lot of the times when we're connecting to massive databases, well, they're massive. So you don't want to have to bring it in and then do all the filtering in Tableau because computationally, it's very expensive. So if you have a million rows, but you only need, um, you know, 10,000 of them, you don't want to bring the million into Tableau and then filter it because it's just, well, it's just inefficient. It's not a good way to do it. So a lot of the times what we want to do is you want to do some pre-manipulation or pre-restructuring of the data so we only grab what we need. You can do that in the respective system. For example, um, now that I've brought that data in here, right, it's the same data, I can write a query in here to achieve the exact same thing as I have here, which I can do right now. So if I do a query, and let's just move my face again, if I do a query like this, okay, category, and let's get quantity, and we're going to make this a sum, Okay, I get the exact same results. So I can save this query and go, um, you know, quantity extraction. All right, let's call it that. I can connect directly to this query or I can connect directly to the table from Tableau. So let's do that. Let me open up some, open up my Tableau. Give me time to sip. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to connect to this access database. So we're going to go Microsoft Access. Now from memory, <clears throat> Tableau Public, you won't be able to do this because I think Microsoft Access is not part of your choice, but I, I can't remember exactly. So Microsoft Access, I'm going to look for that file. Okay, custom SQL. I'm going to open. I'm going to go open again. Okay, and you can see that you have the quantity extraction, which is the query, and the sample superstore. And one thing I actually recommend if you have tables, you know, put like a letter Q in front of it and a letter T. That way you know which ones are tables and which ones are queries. Uh, a little helpful tip when you have heaps of them. So I can connect directly to this query. Okay, and I can grab it. But the problem with this is that if you're going to be connecting directly to queries, in whatever system you have, you have to build a query first. And in my line of work, sometimes we don't need a formal table because we're just testing something or just prototyping or we just want to grab the data just for a very specific purpose. It's not something we need to do ongoingly, ongoingly. So it's sort of like the custom SQL I found is very useful for things that are on the fly that you need to just adjust as you go along. It's not like business as usual reporting, for example. Okay, so what I can do is instead of using that query uh the query one i can just build the sql straight into here so if i go into this query if you don't know how to actually write queries like from scratch 
<clears throat> um, there's heaps of content out there. I don't know if people want me to teach them SQL. I'm not uh, like I can use SQL, but I'm not a super duper expert. I'm a more of a Tableau guy, um, but I can write SQL, no problem. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so I can take this SQL and I'm just gonna copy this because I'm lazy. And we can go new custom SQL. Now, from memory, the custom SQL only appears when you connect to databases. But I have heard in earlier versions you could do it with any data set. But I don't know how true that is or the forums that I was reading was actually just wrong. Okay, so now you have your query here. And, you know, for every query, it's usually structured in a certain way. So it's like a bit more legible. All right, like that. Okay, and... One of the things when you're doing custom SQL in Oracle databases or in Access or whatever, whenever you do a, a select statement, right, or a query, there's usually always a semicolon at the end. Tableau doesn't actually like semicolons, so you have to get rid of it. You can only do one query at a time here. So we go OK. And there we go. So this is a brand new on the fly query and what I recommend is always to rename it so this is going to be your category quantity okay now you can do whatever you want to this you can do further joins you can do further whatever you want you can connect it to all sorts of things right it's completely up to you but that's how you would do your custom SQL and by the way this question I should have mentioned this earlier <clears throat> And bring this over here. This question came from Delip, right? So, um, Delip, hopefully this answers your question. If you guys want to follow along with the example, I've attached all the working files uh, in the description below, so feel free to have a play. Until next time, have a good day and bye.